How's it going Rogues Gallery? Today we have a, well as you can see we have a video game. This is Quantum Protocol. This is an anime style deck builder. This was given to me by the developer so huge thank you to them and without further ado let's just get started. We're going to do kind of like a quick little uh, first look impressions kind of thing. I have played this game for a few hours at this point. Um, let's click start and let's uh, let's get on with it. Well, yeah, two hours and 38 minutes. Here we go. As you can see, there's very, very cute anime art style. I do really, really like the art style of this game. I think it's fantastic. These are the missions here. It is an anime deck builder. Um, it's single player. It's not like a multiplayer game. Think of it kind of like Slay the Spire or something very akin to that. Um, these are kind of some of the levels. You can see the ones that I've uh, accomplished. You can see who I've accomplished it with. Uh, we're just going to play one level. And by the way, there, there's a story here. And the story is told through a um, like a visual novel style thing. So we're just going to play the game. And then I'll kind of show you the, the visual novel. Actually, I think we'll go goo. I think we'll do reprogramming into dark knowledge. I think that'll give a good example. So yeah, we're just going to hit. We're going to hit start here. So here's kind of like the visual novel and some of the characters. Aurora is beautiful. Aurora, you're amazing. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Exactly. Exactly. I like Esper too. Uh, so with this program, we can destroy the dungeon networks in theory. It's just a tool though. I call it reprogram. So this is actually telling you about a mechanic. Reprogram is a pretty good mechanic um, that helps you like reshuffle your deck and rebuild your deck. And it's kind of like the, the crux of the game, honestly. Uh, that sounds cool. How does it work exactly? It lets you collect loose code fragments from enemies and add them to your deck as new programs. Code fragments? What are those? Uh, they're like loot in that one video game. In that one video game. I wonder which one. The one with the demons. Diablo. Oh, okay. I know that one. Yeah, she's cool. She knows. She plays Diablo. Enemies will sometimes have code fragments. I mean, loot on them. Destroying the enemy will let you claim it. When you activate the reprogram, you'll be able to take the loot and add it to your deck. That's kind of like how you rebuild your deck. A reprogram will also reload all your programs, giving you a fresh hand to work with. Yeah, basically, it gets rid of your board and reshuffles everything in. Whoa. Do you have a demo or something I can try? Um, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, let me try it. Here. And then now we're going to get into some gameplay. I will say the gameplay isn't quite as flashy as the artwork here, which is, once again, beautiful and each operator has their own kind of deck we're not going to play this tutorial we're just going to back out of here and we're going to play this level which uh, lets us pick multiple characters and there's like a boss and everything so this is kind of like a, the first major level so let's hit start we'll kind of go over quickly which of the operators we can play so we have esper esper has like a weird like food food style deck um here it shows like the cards that you start with and what they do. We're not going to go over them individually. Here's that reprogram they were talking about. Um, I really like the the character design on a lot of these characters. Uh, we have Idol here. She obviously looks like a uh, pop idol. Um, her deck is incredibly difficult to play with, so we are not going to be playing with this one. Um, and then we have Aurora, who is uh, top tier. And here's her deck. It's fairly easy. I would say we should play with either Aurora or Esper. Um, let me see. Which one do I actually want to play with? I mean, honestly, we, we saw Aurora already at the beginning. Let's just play with Aurora. So we'll choose deck. We'll play Sakura Bloom. She's got these weapons. Basically, what you do is you play them. They can deal damage. And then you can use a one-time effect on them. Um, so, yeah. Let's just start playing. And... Uh, I'll kind of go over some of the mechanics as we go. It's a pretty easy game. Um, it's pretty fun. As you can see, I played for like two and a half hours. So it is a single player game. So I think of it kind of like a, as a puzzle kind of game because you're just playing against uh, your opponent, which is kind of like a preset kind of deal. Our hand is pretty good. Hold on. Let me turn down my headset volume. It is. It's quite loud. Okay. So... Um, we need to defeat these enemies, and uh, we should probably just I'll, just... I'll just show you the mechanics. So here we have this turn. We need to reload in 24 turns, or we'll start taking damage. Here's our health down here. This is our deck, and these are the cards in our hand. We can hit these buttons to execute all of the cards in that row, which basically gets rid of them, and some cards have, like, on-death triggers when they die after, they be, after they're executed. So let's just play... I think it's good to have a bow here. 
Um, as you can see, the, the timer goes down here. We, we only draw whenever this timer goes down and then we click on here. And when we do that, it also refreshes the use of all of our cards. Um, and here's the reprogram card. You can play this and it will refresh everything. We'll do that later. Um, so, I think it's a good idea to get a good baseline out here. And by that I mean, let's get this here, this here, and this here. And so we'll fire off, destroy that. Let's, let's draw this too. That's our whole deck, by the way. Very, very small deck. So we want to collect the loot here so we can uh, upgrade our deck. Um, so we'll kill that. We got some loot. I don't think we should actually uh, reprogram yet. This card... Um, so basically, this little finger little, little finger nozzle thing says uh, has an instant effect. So you use it, and it doesn't take a turn to use, which is really good. And it basically just a free attack, which is, which is great. Because enemies, these are worthless enemies. We'll eventually start finding some very threatening enemies. We'll click our units to attack. And here are some enemies that actually do damage. So what we can do, I, I kind of wanted to show you this. We'll play this card that has an on play effect. It lets us return a unit to our hand when we play it. So we'll play this, return this katana to our hand, and then play the katana and then we can immediately use it for its effect. Uh, that effect didn't trigger a turn, so this didn't go down. And I can use this to refresh all the cards except for the one per use use per card. Uh, and then I can use this again to blast that out of the blast it out of the water. Uh, the bows have a low base damage, which is here. Uh, then they have their life, which is here, but they have a really powerful on-use effect. So I think what we want to do here is we probably want to take advantage. We should probably reprogram. So I think we should kill two of these, like probably these two, and then reprogram. So we'll kill, uh, fire off, do a one-shot kill, and then we'll reprogram. I'll show you some of the reprogram mechanics, because now we have six. It doesn't matter really where I play this, because everything is going to get shuffled back in. Here are our loot. We can put them in our storage. We can only have three in storage at a time, and we can have them in our decks. We can only have three of a kind in a deck at a time. So for now, we're just going to move everything over to our deck, and we're probably going to upgrade this Shide Hana. Um, what does the upgraded version do? You can combine three, by the way, to upgrade into a single. So it says, uh, you return it to your hand, refresh any on-use effects on it, draw a card if you can. Uh does the same thing. Hmm, I'm not sure what the difference is. Oh, it just says draw one card. Oh, I get it. So one of them is draw one card if you do, or just draw a card. So you can just play this and not refresh just to draw a card. Eh, we'll upgrade that. We also got this fireball that deals damage with its on-use effect, and we have a shatter, which blows up one of our cards and then deals damage to all our enemies, which is good. And then the kunai, which deals one damage to all enemies, which is fantastic for this particular boss fight. So we will confirm. Our max health will actually increase. This um, has two turns until it, uh, or three turns until it attacks. So we'll play a katana here. Uh, you know, what? we'll play another katana and then we'll attack it before it can hit us. I think that's good. And then here we can draw this card, but let's do some damage before we draw the card. So we'll shoot, do that, probably play this bow, play this. We'll draw, fire, fire, I think. So draw, fire, fire. There we go, not too bad. This only has two health. Um, this is a good time to show you some other mechanics where you can actually move your units around and then, you know, fire them off from their new positions. I think this is a good time to prep though. Nah, you know what? Let's just kill it. We don't need to prep. So this one has two damage and three health. That's a that's a big big blammer. Let's play this fireball then. So, you know, let's move let's move this bow here. Play fireball. It'll immediately fire because it had a uh, um, initialize effect. Initialize are like, uh, you know, enter the battlefield, you know, whatever you want to call it. When, it. when it comes into play, it does the thing. So we can draw this and refresh, or I can play Shatter, blow up our katana, and it will kill both of these. So before we do that, let's, let's actually draw this card 
And then we can, uh, by the way, this fireball doesn't do anything else. It just sits there. But it can soak up damage from our enemies. So we will shatter. We want to shatter one that will actually kill stuff. So let's shatter this katana. Um, and we'll, we can re reprogram later to get everything back, which is probably what we'll want to do. Now this will do one damage to everything, which is probably pretty good. Yeah, that's what, that's what we want to do. So we'll uh, play our bow here. One damage to everything. And then this can shoot off, kill this. This can shoot off, kill that. Oh, we're going to end up taking... Our fireball is going to die, but that's okay. We'll, we'll do this. And now we don't have any more attacks. So... We should just reprogram here. In fact, we should actually just play the reprogram. This only has one health left and five turns. So let's just play the reprogram. Let's see what we got. Ooh, flashbang is good. Stuns enemies, so it kind of delays them, which is great. Ember kind of sucks. Lantern and bow. So getting another bow, we can't actually have more than three copies of cards, so we can upgrade our bows. Definitely want to do that. I don't know if we actually want this ember, though. Getting another shatter is actually fantastic. Lantern, add one or lower Hana card from your deck to hand. Except Lantern. We'll take it. We'll leave this ember in our uh, storage for now. Let's see what we got. So we have bow, katana. we got to reprogram off the bat. So what we should do is we should play the bow in the center. We should play... Katana above it, because it's got two health. We'll play another bow, and then fire off this bow. Just not, But not use its six damage ability. And now we have two enemies here. This one has some loot on them. So we'll shoot that off. We can refresh and then fire this off. Is that worth it? You know what? Maybe it's not worth it. Let's move this here, and then we'll just fireball. And then, hmm, I think I want to swap here and then fire that off. And now we have a bunch of dudes. So let's draw our shatter. I can shatter the katana to blow up all of these little jabronis. And then I can bobo. That'll take two, three turns to do all that. So yeah, I think we want to do that. These have a bunch of loot on them too. So let's... Move the bow here, move this here, shatter katana, we'll kill all these dudes, and then I can fire, fire? Yeah, there we go. We got a, uh, got a little, little bungarooski. Six and five, huh? We have five here. Once this, this is kind of the progress on the stage, once this gets right here, we're going to have to fight a boss, basically. So let's just draw this. We can have these guys attack because I don't care if they kill this fireball or this shatter. So we can kind of set up some stuff here and try to maximize our plays. So let's play this side Hannah. Oh, it returns. I forgot what this does. That was dumb. Can I take it back? Well, we'll turn this one back to our hand so we can get that on use effect again. We'll play this here. I thought I thought it was the lantern that lets you get any card. That's fine. And by, these dying doesn't matter. When we reprogram, we are able to use them again. So I think what we can do here is we can just bow bow, or we can reprogram. We got five here, and these, these all have five too. We still have the flashbang in our deck too. You know what? Let's just kill these guys. I didn't need to use that. I, I should have just used these. Oh, no, I can. Here we go. I, I got an idea. Then we'll draw. Oh, we're going to lose one of our bows. That's fine. This is going to take a damage. And then we'll move this here and shoot it. And we got a bunch of bunch of big, big boys. Hmm. What do we want to do... I think I might have messed up a little bit, but I, I, well, we should be fine. So what I can do is I can protect what we have, like that. Draw this. I'll definitely want to shatter. 
So I can... Oh, I don't have... I can't do one damage to everything. Dang, dang it. I was going to do one damage to everything and then Shatter do one, one more damage to everything. So we're going to take some damage here, I think. So what we should do is we should fire this off to mitigate. We'll play this and Shatter here. We're going to end up taking two damage. That's, a, that's fine, though. Yeah, that's fine. And then I can shoot this and kill that. And then this will die. Which is fine, because we're going to reprogram right now anyway. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Here we go. Four steel damage and push the back. Ooh, we definitely want more flashbangs. Definitely want more shatters. Put more bows in and more kunai. These are all good. What a spark. Suck one inactive and reactivate it. I don't know about that. Playing this card does not take a turn. Oh, that seems good. Okay, cool. So we have more bows. We'll upgrade... Upgrade our bows. Ooh, we can upgrade our shatter. Two cards equal to the card. No, I don't think that's that great. Because I've already beaten this once, I know the enemy has dudes that only take one damage at a time. So doing more damage doesn't actually help. So, like, if we can kill two dudes and do four damage to everything, it's not going to really help that much. By the way, it also heals us a little bit. So what I think I can do is I can play this kunai, deal one damage, kill all these dudes, and then play the fireball. Boom. And then play the fireball here, here and it'll instantly kill that. Ooh, so this is where we actually want to prep. Because after we beat this, the boss happens. So let's reprogram now. And we have... What is this? Target a card in your field, remove all its effects and stat modifiers. Then change it to 2-2. Two, two. That could be good. Put the katana in. Put a force in. Alright. I think this is going to be our deck going forward. I don't think we want to upgrade our katanas because we still need them, you know, enough to draw on the deck to attack. Definitely want the shatters. This is a very interesting card. Turn it to 2-2. Two, two. I mean, they can turn, like, our crappy Hana or our Lantern into 2-2s. Two, Alright, let's do it. 17 health. Ooh, flashbang's really good here. So I think we should prep here. We want really high damaging stuff in the middle because that's where the boss is going to spawn. It's going to spawn right here. In four turns, we can either kill this or in four turns, we're going to have to fight the boss. So let's just draw the card. We'll put... We'll kind of prep. Prep? We'll prep like that. Let's say prepare and prep. So here you can see Void. This card is removed when it um, void this card when it's removed from the field so it doesn't go into like a graveyard or trash bin or whatever but it also says it cannot take more than one damage at a time which is a, is a huge bummer luckily we have this flashbang so we can actually prevent a lot of this and shatter dealing one damage to everything is, is pretty good so let's play this flashbang we'll probably put it here yeah stun him so it'll give us more time to attack uh, let's get Attack, attack, attack. We, we did basically want to kill the boss here. Um, and it, you can see it has different abilities. So it can spawn two minions. It can do one damage to all of my dudes. Or it can just deal a straight up three damage. Um, and it kind of cycles between these. The, the highlighted thing here, you can kind of see this uh, little, little glowy, glowy orb. That indicates what it's going to do. So... Um, Let's just draw our flashbang and let's play the flash. I can get a free attack. You know what? Just in case this flashbang misses, it can miss, by the way. Let's get our free attack on here. Just in case it misses. So let's flashbang. Yep, it did. It resisted. See? See? So what I can do now is I can shatter this katana because it's going to die anyway. We'll end up taking three damage, but I don't think that's that big of a deal. It'll clear out the board. So let's do that. Oh, we didn't take three damage. The Shatter uh, tanked it for us, which is really good. Ooh, we definitely want to get some more cards, though. So what we can do... Hmm. I can play this and turn it into a 2-2. Two -two. Here, you know what? I'm going to move... Oh, it's going to deal three damage. That's a bummer. I'm going to have this tank it. I'm just going to have it tank it. And then I'll play this here. Attack. 
draw this bow. Ooh, there we go. We got we got reprogram. That's really good. Let's do a free attack here. And then I keep look. I keep mousing over our, our graveyard because we can actually play cards from our bin, depending on the card. None of the ones we have actually do that. Let's attack it for two. In two more turns, it's gonna spawn some jabronis. So let's move this here. Move this here. Let's get the, the six damage on it. We really want to do as much damage here as, as possible. So we got five turns. It doesn't really matter what we do here, so let's just click here. We can click here to pass the turn. Let's reprogram. Let's, let's, let's just... Oh, you know what? No, we should just reprogram now. We just kind of get a reshuffle. Okay, so we got... We got these cards here. What does this do? One damage to all cards on our field. So what I think we should do is um, put this in front of one of these. This is gonna do one damage to everything. Let's put the katana here. So we'll take. We'll end up taking three damage. Our lantern will die, and this will take one. Or six damage. Oh, cause it. This popped off first. Gotcha. We got a flashbang coming up here, though. We want to play our bow. And then let's play this here. Draw the flashbang. Pop the flashbang. Flash blang. Play the katana here. Do a free attack. Free attack. Free attack. We will do six damage. Put it at seven, which is quite good. We're going to have to pass some turns here. So we're going to lose most of our stuff. What is this going to do? Spawn two minions? We should just really focus on killing this guy. All right, here we go. These two are going to die, but... We can draw this. Deals one damage when we play it. This only does three damage here, though. Ooh, it's looking real rough. This is looking real rough. So we can play this here. Kill this guy. We can survive an attack from all of these except for... We, we gotta kill one of them, basically, is what I'm saying. This will attack in two turns and deal three damage. So we, we should definitely pop this off. Now it only has five health. Man, this only does one. It's such a bummer. We'll, we'll shoot this off. That'll die. And we'll play Force here. It'll kill that. And then I can move this to absorb more damage. What's this going to do? One damage to everything. It's going to kill my whole board. But we got Reprogram coming up. So we're going to take six. That's rough. What's this going to do? One damage to everything. Let's, let's fire this off. Put it at three. And then we can Reprogram. It's looking, it's looking pretty touchy here. So we want to draw damaging cards. So what we should do is we should actually take some of this out of here. Oh, wait. Will I not let me eat them? I don't know if you can delete them. Hmm. Because I just want to get rid of all of our things that don't deal a lot of damage. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that, that, that works. Okay, cool, cool. So, we, we want to only draw our good shit. So, let's... Fireball would win us the game. Flashbangs are good for delaying. These would both win us the game. Let's get rid of Shatters as well. And the Kunai. Your health would be zero. Ah, bummer. Okay, so I need to put one card back in. I can upgrade the Shatter, put it back in. Health would still be zero. Health would be zero. So I need to, I need to add one more card back in. Let's add... Well, these don't take a turn, so I guess we can put that back in. Put the forces back in. All right, all right, we're gonna do this. All right, here we go. 
one. Okay, I think we can do this. So we'll play Katana. Free attack. Doesn't take an action. Play... We're going to end up having to sacrifice most of the cards, but I think that's fine. So we'll play this. Oh, wait. I think we die. Because these two will go off. Bummer. Bummer, dude. I think we die here. Yeah, there's no way to do this. Because these are all going to... These are going to attack next turn, so I have to play a card here. And then I have to play a card here, but these are both attack and I'll die. No! Because I was going to play this and then do a free attack. Oh, no, that's a bummer. Huge bummer. You know what? Let's try one more time. Yeah, that, that did not go so well. Did not go so well. Let's 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 redo that. I don't think I played that maximum. Okay, so um, we'll just play bow, bow, fire, fire. Kind of just want to farm up some some jabronis. This is one that brings it back to our hand, right? Play the katana, fire, draw katana, fire. Should probably save our on uses. Fire that, get this back, fire that. We're gonna try to speed run this now. Hmm. I don't know if I wanna... Let's do one damage here, that's fine. I'll shoot this off. Let's, I think we're gonna reprogram soon. So let's kill, kill, Move, kill, reprogram. Flashbangs are both good. Kunai's good. I still kind of want to use this, but I, I don't know how good it is. Perform your turn. Ooh. Yeah, let's just let's just give it a shot. We'll just drop the flashbang right off the bat. We can have a we have a refresh right here, but let's not do that yet. Let's put. Katana, Katana, fire off, fire off, don't take our actions. Then we can move, move, draw, refresh, kill, kill. Um, battery will let us draw this flashbang, which is pretty good. Let's, draw the, let's drop the flashbang. We can turn our battery into a 2 2, which is good. We'll attack, we'll attack. And then we can. Bounce our sword back. Play the sword. Let's draw this. Use the battery to attack. What do we got? Only got one here? I feel like we have less loot this time. We'll swap these because this can absorb a hit. Hmm. Kinda wanna. Let's just play this here, move this here, free attack, move the battery, bow, fire off the bow, draw this to get this back, and we can just attack, attack. And we got a lot of dudes here. So I think we should play this, uh, this kunai, but it's gonna have to place it in a spot where it's in, inopportune, which is fine, you know? One damage to everything. We will. What do I want to do? I think. Move that. Oh, wait, hold on. I can just get my action again. Hold on. I should attack here, though. I should attack. Hmm. I'm going to lose some stuff. I think the best thing, I'll just move this back. I'll fire off, kill it. That's fine, though. Gonna lose this. That's also fine. Yeah. Let's draw. Let's draw this. Hmm. Move. Fire. 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 I'm not getting as much loot this time. Do I want to reprogram now? Hmm. 
guy has loot. Let's kill this guy and then reprogram. Yeah. Okay, we'll get another flashbang. Another katana, another bow. Um, this is the one that returns it. That could be good. We'll put this here for now. I don't know if I need it. This lets us get a card from our deck. What does upgraded flashbang do? Four turns. Nah, I think we'll just have the regular flashbang. Hmm. You know... We should just play this here. And use this ability on itself, and then we'll, like, just attack with it. And then I'll die. Yeah. That's an easy one. Let's, like, do, let's do some prep work here. Because we've got a couple turns before we need to fire off. Yeah, like that. And so here we will... We'll play this. Do some, do some damage to everything. Drop the splash bang. And then we can... Okay, cool. We can kill this. Kill this. Kill this. Free kill this. Drop this here. Pass turn. Draw. So I think next turn, after I kill this guy, we're gonna have to do the boss, basically. Because this one right here is like the, the freebie zone. So what I think we should do is we should prep for the boss and try to make it... We're going to kind of cheese it a little bit. So I'm not going to kill this yet. I'm basically just going to run this out so I can reprogram. So I'm just going to I'm gonna run this down. And then I'm going to reprogram now. Ooh, another katana. Hmm, three. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, I think this is pretty good. All right, cool. And now, now we can actually prep. So these are cards that return stuff back to our hand. We should probably save the flashbang for the boss fight. So we'll put bow, draw this. Hmm. I kind of want to just build my board. So let's play this here, and we're just going to use it on itself, and it'll absorb an attack from here. And then I'll play... I kind of want double bows in the middle just to nuke the boss. Hmm. I'm not sure what is better. Yeah, it's probably better because then we can play the Hanas to return back to our hand. So we'll play Katana here. Um, I'm just going to have this eat, eat damage. So let's just pass a couple times. Battery lets us draw immediately. Ooh, that's a really good one. So we'll play the battery here. Draw immediately. Hmm, I'm debating whether or not I want to just kill this right now. Having this katana out is good. Yeah, I think we should just kill it immediately. So we have enough units on the board. And now we have a couple more turns to prep. So let's just draw up our flashbang. Ooh, the kunai is going to be really good too. Yeah, okay, cool. And we're just going to count down. All right, here we go. Take two. We got some good free attacks here, so I can get three free damage here. Deal one damage to that. Three free here. One to that. This is gonna kill our dude. So what we should do is we should flash bang. Get a big big shot off here. Let's move this. Put the Hana down. And we'll bounce the bow. And then we're gonna flash bang again. Oh they resisted, that's a bummer. Let's play the kunai. We'll play it over here. This can kill this. I'm, I'm not, not too worried about that. So what we should do then in this case is we should pop this off now and kill these. And then that will refresh here. And we can play double bow in the middle. Yeah, I think that's a good strat. So we'll do bow, bow, fire off bow, fire off bow. Takes him down pretty low. He's gonna spawn some dudes. So let's play our Hana. Bounce the b 
bow. And now he's gonna do one to everything. Which is gonna clear a lot of our little dudes, which is which is a big bummer actually. So what we should do here, we definitely wanna get this flashbang. We'll draw the flashbang. Let's play the flashbang. So let's do. Hmm. Definitely wanna make use of these before they die. So I would say. This should probably get in the middle. These two should probably get in the middle, actually. Yeah. I'll move that there. Attack. Move. Attack. Kill that. Kill this, or use that before it dies. We'll draw this lantern. Could do this lantern later. Play the bow and use it before it dies, because it's gonna die now. Um, so let's deal. Hmm. What is it? Lantern lets us get any card from my deck, right? I think we should. What's this gonna do next? Do one damage. Like, deal one damage. Okay. We should. We should take care of this right now. This dying is not that big of a deal. We'll draw this. It's gonna do one damage to everything, which is... Wait, I play this and then it does one damage. That sucks. Actually, let's, re let's just reprogram them. It's gonna kill our dudes anyway. Ooh, another katana. Okay, cool, cool. I'm down. Yeah, so that basically did nothing, which is which is pretty good for us. And we have three flashbangs, oh god. All right, so let's, let's drop this battery here and then we're gonna play this constant connection. Turn our battery into a 2-2. It's gonna do three damage. It's gonna kill our battery. Let's just, just fire it off. That's pretty easy. That was a that was a good trade there. Uh, what's he gonna do next? Summon two minions. So we'll play the katana. Just get a regular attack in there. Drop a flashbang. Crank that up. We can kind of protect our katana a little bit because we're gonna refresh it. Oh, that was that was a waste actually because I'm just gonna drop this katana down here. Yeah, we we got this guy. This this guy's gonna die here. Because it's only at three, so we can go flashbang, flashbang. Even if they resist, this refreshes, and I can just insta-kill. That was so much easier that time. I think it's just because he doesn't summon a lot of dudes. We got, like, so overwhelmed last time. Maybe I just wasn't, you know, focusing them enough. But, yeah. That is Quantum Protocol. I think this game is pretty fun. Um, like I said, each deck plays very differently. Like that fruit deck. I'll just show you kind of real quick. The fruit deck really, um, it synergizes with all the other fruit that you play. So the more fruits that you got, they do other things. So like the apple lets you get more apples. The um, the lemons fire off all lemons when you play a lemon. Um, this one lets you get cards back from your graveyard or from your, from your trash. And you can get other fruits. So yeah, this game is actually a lot of fun. And it does have some rewards as you progress through the game. So you can see like research. As you level up, you gain access to more like cards and, and all that kind of stuff up to level 40 here, as well as some, hold on, I wanted to show you, um, some cosmetic unlocks as well. You can kind of see these paint brushes, these uh, like grayed out, blackened out paint brushes. And then here's the collection. Well, you can see that kind of stuff. So you can you know see the operators. You got Aurora, Idol, you got Esper. You can unlock board skins of which I have none. Um, and here's some of the, the cards that we've unlocked. Yeah, I think this game is fun. It comes out later in 2020. I don't know if there is a release date yet. There are other decks, as you can see, that I have not showcased in this video. Uh, like the Queen deck, um, which uses, um, like, uh, what do you call it? Like, chess pieces? And they actually move like chess pieces. And Queen is a, is a very cool-looking character. I'm going to back out and see if it's going to show Queen here. She's the one in the thumbnail, by the way. She's the one with white hair. She looks awesome. Nah, it shows our most recently played character. Yeah, let's see. I can, I can show you Queen. She is uh, in this one right here. This is the most recent one that I've done. I wonder if we can just skip it. Oh, yeah, we can. Haha! -ha! Skip. Alright, let's see. Booting. Yeah, so this is Queen. I love her, like, uh, character design. She looks awesome. And you can see she's got like queen pieces, bishops, knights, pawns. Uh, very interesting. Um, 
So all the decks play very, very, very differently. And I know there's another one too that I have not yet played with, uh, this Jabroni. So yeah, once again, that was Quantum Protocol. Check it out on Steam. I will have a link in the description down below. Um, you know, wishlist it. I don't know how much it's going to cost, but I knew it, I know it does come out later this year. And it is, you know, an indie game. And I like to support indie games. So without further ado, thank you very much for watching. You know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And stay tuned for more card game content, especially ones that have similarly beautiful artwork as this game. Yeah. We'll see you next time, everyone.